Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're talking about Xbox, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Miis. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, this one has been a pretty hot topic in the news today. Microsoft filed a trademark for the Xbox XS. Now, there are a ton of people speculating that this is going to be a brand new console, maybe a Series X without a disk drive. And this speculation to me is a little bit interesting because we already have an Xbox without a disk drive, the Series S. Mind you, the Series S is a little bit lower powered, which has been leading people to believe they're going the PlayStation route where the consoles are the exact same between the physical and the digital, just one doesn't have a disk drive. And for those of you who are really excited about this, which might not be a lot of people, but anyways, if you are excited about this, don't hold your breath because this might simply be safeguarding the use of Series X and S just like this. But then it might leave you wondering as to why they didn't trademark this with the letters the other way around. So S set, oh, I see why. But realistically, we will have to wait and see. I mean, it could be possible that it's a new console, naming it the XS isn't really out of the realm of possibilities considering Microsoft has been doing a pretty poor job at naming the recent consoles. I mean, I'm still a big fan of the name Scarlet. I don't know why they didn't stick with that. Now, moving on to PlayStation. With the release of the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 4's days are pretty limited. And that really is no secret. As soon as the new console comes out, the old one is probably quickly going to die. And that seems to be the case here in Japan where it looks like they're discontinuing a bunch of PlayStation 4 models. Realistically, if this is true, the rest of the world will probably soon follow. Hopefully this is good news so they can ramp up production on the PlayStation 5 so people can actually buy one. Next up, moving on to Nintendo, and this one is extremely interesting. It turns out that Miis are used in Breath of the Wild. According to a Mi expert on Twitter, they say it turns out the NPCs in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild use an advanced version of the Mi format. This means that with modding, you can inject Miis into the game. And it looks like they've been tinkering around with things to actually put Miis into the game. So you can see here the original me and then what it looks like in Breath of the Wild. They've done a total of four of them in this picture only, but apparently they've done even more. They go into much more detail on the exact way this is done, and I find this incredibly fascinating. There does seem to be a lot of modding support for this. There is a Discord already, and hopefully Nintendo doesn't find it call the fun police and shut everything down like they do with anything else that's remotely fun. Now I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to seeing Log from Pennsylvania or Petch from Texas, or even this very special character here in Breath of the Wild. I think that would be pretty awesome. And it looks like there's a pretty good chance that we are going to see them. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on the news in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.